Hello, hello, my Tauruses and cross watchers. Welcome to my channel, Project Fev Tarot and More. I'm Sharon, Intuitive Empath, and I'm channeling the energy for the rest of March, the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Um, I did do a premeditative session. I hope you guys are surviving Mercury retrograde. Things are um, looking for you guys like it's been a very indulgent Mercury retrograde. Um, what came through in the premeditative uh, is the theme of too much. Okay, so too much of, of whatever you've been kind of uh, de delving into. Um, there's either a new relationship and there's too much togetherness, too much sex, as if there could be such a thing in a new relationship. But what I'm feeling and, and sensing and seeing here is that um, though the connection is strong and deep, it's creating kind of an obsessive, oppressive type energy between the two of you. Um, either that or you're married to your job right now and you've become an overindulgent workaholic where you're not balancing that out with self-care. Um, and there's the warning is coming through about snapping back into um, balance. It seems like you've become obsessive um, with your ideas about what you want to render as a result of this, either um, being obsessive about this relationship until you get the result you're looking for, which is like marriage or an engagement or some type of togetherness that, you know, moving it to the next level. It's almost like you, you really want this to happen or at your job, you're after a promotion or there's some type of goal that you're really after and you're just pouring yourself into it. Um, or, you know, it's just become unhealthy overindulgence, um, overeating, drinking too much, spending too much money, kind of in a way, escapism. Okay, that's the word that's coming right now as I'm 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 listening to spirit and spirit guides. Um, there's a sense of escapism, utilizing all of that to escape from something else that you really need to balance out. Um, I do sense that there's a lot of emotional stuff coming up for you. There's been a lot of triggers in the month of March with Mercury retrograde. And you've been rather dismissive of those triggers, just kind of going, eh, eh. Ah, you know, my finances, I'll deal with that later. You know, ah, I'll just kind of a procrastinating type of energy. But it's not procrastination. It's not like you're, you're, you know, you have to deal with it and you're putting it off. You're really not even looking at it as important right now. And the, the warning message from the universe is like, whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. There's a reason why this is coming up, Taurus. There's a reason why this relationship is starting to change and why you're feeling it shift and you're having to focus more of your energy on it or are focusing more of your energy on it. And it's not because it's manifesting your desire in it. It's because it's kind of pulling away and creating space and you're becoming obsessive or oppressive about closing that space gap again and you're not coming up for air and uh, and or not um, providing yourself the self-care that you need right now in order to recover and it's usually um, devil energy like that that brings about tower moments in a very catastrophic blindsiding type of way um, because you've been so uber focused on creating this one aspect um, in your life that you've lost sight of all the other aspects of life and, and things that need to be built, built, dealt with, or coped over. And the rest of that is kind of falling apart, not falling away for you to deal with it, diff to deal with it later. Okay. So it's not, and, and Taurus, you guys have a reputation for being pretty stubborn. And, and I think that probably doesn't resonate with a lot of Tauruses because it's not stubborn that you guys really, it's not an egocentric prideful kind of stubborn it's just a resistance it's a kind of internal resistance to change a resistance to admit that it was you um, uh, or an, a resistance to admit fault or to admit wrongdoing or error or incorrect um, or a resistance to acknowledging there was something you didn't know or um, 
just kind of like that type of resistance I feel is being triggered in you guys a lot this month and will continue to be triggered for the rest of the month because the point of this Mercury retrograde is to bring all of this up for you to resolve it, to find some reconciliation and relationships, to find a better or create a better relationship within yourself, to have all of the little weak parts that aren't solidly built in your life, they kind of get rocked, shook around and, and you know, they're pretty much left on shaky ground deliberately so that, you know, when, when Mercury retrograde hits its peak, that stuff either, you know, falls apart and falls away or crumbles apart and, you know, you're left with rubble. So um, I'm kind of wanting to go to the cards now for tarot. I'm going to do a classic Celtic cross spread. Um, I did already do, with the premeditative shuffle, I already did do um, the work for shuffle to channel the energy into Taurus. Um, so I'm just going to lay the cards out and then we'll do clarifiers with the shuffle. Um, so, okay. So right now, you guys... Like I said, here's what's coming up for you, a crossroads. You guys are going to have to get serious, serious, serious about making a decision here. Um, uh, the Two of Swords is in the answer position, but let's review and go back all the way to the beginning. Okay, so you have the um, Six of Wands upright and the Six of Cups in reverse as the affecting energy. So something, someone, or some situation has already triggered or resumed itself in your life, okay, and you're wanting to be on top, or you're feeling, you're right now you're still feeling like you are, okay, Queen of Cups is at the base of the situation, so what that really indicates to me with the combination of these cards together is that you guys are feeling pretty much on top, there's a lot of confidence, there's an air of I got this, you know, no real thought or worry um, necessarily, which is kind of unlike a Taurus, but you guys are pretty much feeling on top of whatever the situation is, okay? Um, here's the deal, though. I think that in your mind, thoughts are starting to creep in and starting to cause conflict that isn't necessarily in the situation or manifesting in the situation per se, but because behaviors are changing, um, so that an example of that would be you guys met each other, was a great connection. You guys were like having lots of sex, connecting like you do in the beginning of the relationship. But now it's kind of transitioning more into the doing your own thing and then coming together. And there's kind of triggering in that a thought process of, okay, why is this shifting? Why is it changing? Why, aren't, why doesn't this person want to text me as often? Or why is this person starting to change their behavior? Or why is the switch up? What's going on with that? You know, um, and you're kind of getting vague answers from this person. So it's starting to create or trigger your issues. Okay, whatever your previous issues, if they've been doubt, if they've been emotional instability, if it's been depression, if it's been worry, um, it's coming up for you. Mercury retrograde is bringing these up and going, ha, 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 they're still here. Guess what you get to deal with this month, Taurus? You get to deal with doubt and obsessive thoughts and OCD and um, ADHD and your inability to focus on something that needs to be completed in this particular situation emotionally. So your emotions are going to be triggered and then you're going to have to work through and reconcile that process. Um, in a way that you hadn't before, okay? The Nine of Cups is in the reverse, in the thoughts position. So this is what's going on in your head. You're starting to kind of doubt that this is gonna render happy. You're starting to doubt your happiness at all. Does this situation really make me happy? Am I really gonna get what I want out of this? Is it really what I'm wishing for? So um, you're kind of losing your, not, it's not lost, mind you, it's only the initiation, okay? Now, the reason why it's at the intensity of the nine is because it's all in your head. There's literally nothing in the situation. The chariot is in the past, the past position, the king of wands is in the future position, 
all of these cards are upright. So everything that represents the situation, all of these cards are strong, powerful, positive cards. They're in the upright. They're good signs that things are moving in the right direction and they're going really well, except your headspace. So it seems like Mercury retrograde is bringing and triggering some headspace issues for you. Um, previous emotional loss that has caused you psychological trauma. Um, so I really think that for some of you Tauruses, and this might not resonate with all of you, but for some of you Tauruses out there, the energy that I'm tapping into is this is triggering some past issues for you guys. And um, you're not feeling as confident as the situation is really presenting itself to be. Okay. And I think that you're okay because the Knight of Pentacles is in your um, emotional concerns. Um, are you going to be found out? Okay, that's kind of what I'm feeling here is there's an, an, an element of image presentation. So you're presenting this image that this nine of cups in reverse isn't really going on in here. Okay, what you're presenting is more like a, no, I'm, I'm on top of this. I, I got this. I'm really confident. I'm, you're kind of playing. You're being a player. And I don't mean that in the sense of like I've got multiple women or I've got multiple guys and I'm texting all of them and I'm going to. You know, it's not that kind of player energy. A player is somebody who just has a mask on, pretends to be a particular type of way when they're not internally really that way. Okay, so you're not as confident in your head and in your emotional self as you're presenting yourself to be. Image is, is playing a role in, in this. And I think that there's a concern because the death card is in the way you view it and it's in reverse. Your, your concern or the way that you're viewing the situation is you're trying to prevent what is naturally occurring and is occurring as a result of the way that the universe is managing things. Okay, so the universe is bringing about this cycle of energy, this cycle into your life. Um, it's bringing you, leading you to a crossroads where you're going to have to make a decision and it's not going to be an easy one, okay? I have a feeling you're going to have to labor in this decision for quite some time, significantly, throughout the rest of Mercury retrograde and into April. This is going to be an energy that's going to kind of follow you and it's going to feel like a little bit of a shadow, okay, because I think you're trying to run away from this. You're, you're trying to act like you don't, you don't know that this is eminent. Okay, so whatever's going on, whatever connection you have to this person, um, and don't look at, and view the death card necessarily as like it's a bad connection. This is just the universe's way of saying it's deep, it's intense. Whatever you're experiencing is intense and you're like, nope, it's not intense. Nope, I'm not having all of this going on. Nope, I'm fine. Everything's great. Nope, nope. I'm on top of this. I'm confident. I've got this project in the bag as you go to work your 60th hour at work to try to figure out how to do this and be on top of this project or the way that you're overworking yourself in the situation to create and make sure that you manifest the outcome. But the universe is at play here and it's bringing about a different cycle. You're not out of the cycle yet, which is why the death card's in reverse. You're still working through this cycle because you're still needing to reconcile the nine of cups in reverse. Okay, so there's some element here that you have to define your happiness. You have to get really serious about figuring out what exactly it is that you're trying to manifest, what you wish would happen, and not pretend anymore like you're presenting this image of happiness. You know, Mercury retrograde right here in this situation is calling you out. It's like it's, it's putting you on blast, and it's saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 this isn't going to happen anymore. You're not going to just be able to present this image and then this is what's really going on on the inside. You're going to have to decide. Do you want to continue to pretend, okay? The universe is, is presenting you with an opportunity. The two of swords is in the, is in the answer position. It's in the upright. Do you want to keep the blinder on and continue going on with this is, uh, image? being unfulfilled and entirely unhappy or do you want to drop the act Taurus and find real true happiness with a real true situation that's what I feel is happening for you guys do you really want to bring about the full cycle of death and rebirth 
in, in a way that actually is fulfilling and makes you happy? Or do you want to stay here and keep pretending and keep playing at this? Okay. So the universe is giving you an opportunity to figure that out. Okay. Trying to... Uh, help you draw some conclusions about where you're heading in life, okay? Um, so for the advice in the cards, um, for the future positions, and uh, from the different decks that I have, the Wild Offering decks, Moonology, finding out what blockages um, you're facing, finding out uh, what the advice is in the cards is part of the extended reading. So if you want to see where this goes, Taurus, go ahead, um, click like, click subscribe, um, to the channel so that you can get um, you know uploads to the new content or notification button for new content and um, we'll do the extended reading you can reach out to me at projectfev at gmail.com or projectfevtarot at gmail.com and uh, let me know if you guys want a personal reading okay um, as always a little housekeeping thank you guys so much for the new subscribers I love logging in and seeing that number go up it's really exciting for me and uh, in a way kind of validating that um, I'm helping people and that people are kind of tuned in and turned on by what's happening here with the with the realm of intuition and tarot and um, you know it's always kind of a thing for an empath to step out in a way that's very public and put myself out there so it's nice to feel um, supported in my gift and in that kind of like leap of faith, I guess you could say. So keep keep doing what you're doing and uh, I'll keep doing what I'm doing and hopefully this resonates with some of the Tauruses out there. Um, so for the rest of Mercury Retrograde, namaste, light and love, uh, best of everything, warm regards. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.